you know, I got many friends. Uh, this person I do call a friend. Uh, he's younger than me. He uh, he may have just made 30. I got to see it. Uh, not Some of you old thirsty assholes that don't show you real pics. Fat ass bitches got to turn sideways, get out the door. And ain't nothing wrong with being big. But I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the big, sexy, pretty women. This doesn't apply to you. The big, sexy, pretty women with waistlines that can... That men, uh, they bring your name up constantly because they mad because you didn't even want to fuck with them. And if they if they knew, they shouldn't fuck with you because uh, you kind of like a motherfucker. I, I'm only here. Come on, on on an internet system, on a shit like this, this all she going to do is like save up some shit to fuck with you in her past time and, tie, and, and toy with you like a motherfucking cat toying with a mouse that's well fed by his master or his her master. They, they 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 expose your ass because that shit is entertainment and then they make money from it but you know now you can't make that much money from youtube because it's about donations but then they got other shit going for them but they still make their motherfucking money not praising them or putting them up but my homeboy texted me before he went to bible study i remember this young man when i told him some years ago that he had a calling on his life i used to tease him and call him a warlock but now he has come into his own that he that he knows who he is. He knows the purpose. He knows everything. But that is one man right there where I can't even talk to my husband on the, the shit. Because I'm not saying, oh, I'm so fucking deep. I'm so philosophical. But this young, that's why the, I'll, I will use R. Kelly uh, in this. Age ain't nothing but a number. But I ain't going to say throwing down. Age ain't nothing but a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. Because when two great minds come together that think alike, that are aware, that are awoke and not sleepwalking through life, this young man, we can get together and get on the phone for hours. A fine young man. Some of you bitches wouldn't even be, you'd be on phone, you'd be on phone, boned him, paid his way, tried to marry He ain't stupid. He know who his wife is. But he chose God. He chose the path. But I remember at the first, when we met up, he had a lot of questions about spirituality because that was God knocking at his door then of who he was supposed to be. This man is a prophet. I call him a prophet. He is a prophet. He about to marry a prophet. Her mother's a prophet because in the last days when there is no computers, no phones, you're going to, if you, if you're able to even get together in a circle to talk to people, you're going to have to listen to the prophets and the prophets are going to steer you Go left, go right. There's going to be food that, that's going to be supplied to us supernaturally. but Or leave the leave this uh, country, as we call it, the U.S. I suggest everybody, really, uh, it don't even cost that much, y'all. Why are you wasting your money on blunts and shit? Can you just, like, try to stop your drug abuse and drug use and, and, and buy you a passport? For your, for your children and your grandchildren so you guys can leave before it's time. It's one man I really admire. He's gone now. And he got out like months ago. You don't hear from him no more because he spoke of this time like seven years ago. I've been following him. And he spoke of this and that's what gravitated me toward him. Now he's gone. But I know he's doing well because he left the country ahead of time because he knows when the shit go down, this motherfucker gonna be cinders. It's going to be motherfucking ashes. It's going to be a wasteland. A waste fucking land. And I ain't going to mention his name. He got his, his, old, his old videos are up. But it's so many videos he made that he never even got monetized for because he shared his knowledge. He tried to wake people up. Wake up, wake up. I'm not trying to make money. I'm in here. I'm in here for your soul. I'm trying to wake you up. Wake up, people. Wake up from your slumber. But I'm so proud of my baby. I call him my baby. He's like a son to me because he's younger than my son. Ain't nobody try to fuck him. I, if he was living in the same state, I wouldn't fuck him. Maybe in my days when I was a teenager and I was into light skin, when I realized I'm a black woman. Fuck what I'm mixed with. They call me spick bitches. But guess what? I'm a rich bitch. In, in soul, but not in wealth yet. But guess what? Bitcoins, I'm, I'm really abreast about. Just know this, though. I heard a man even on YouTube right now. He doesn't even fuck with you. If he think you are part of the black sector, he don't fuck with you. I respect that. Because this 
who who can anybody um I mean, can you be real with me? And, uh, and if I don't care if you write a paragraph, it takes 10 paragraphs. Explain to me when the black sector came about because they put me in that motherfucker and I wasn't in it. But because of the people that they saw me, the very first person who live stream I was in, they, they, they thought I was in the black sector. I started getting harassed. My very first harassment came from Tommy Sotomayor, not from the man himself, from his followers. Bitches. In wheelchairs, on walkers, fucked up, ugly, fucked up, looking like motherfucking mask in the face and shit. Cause they, they hoping, they hoping and a praying and a wishing and a hoping and a praying. I hope Tommy noticed me. I want to be his wife. And, and man, I, from what I know, I don't think he'd ever been married. I don't think Tommy Sotomayor ever going to get married. And this is not no damn fucking diss to him. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not scared of Tommy Sotomayor. I ain't got nothing against him and shit. And even if and, and motherfuckers told me some shit, oh, Tommy did this and he did that to you. Guess what? I don't give a fuck because it is what it is. He ain't did shit to me that I know. He ain't called me and said shit to me. I communicated with him on some other shit before I knew of what was really going on. Who would have thought YouTube was so fucked up? You, you, you got Snapchat, Instagram. This YouTube is some motherfucking... This, let me tell you something, people. If, you, if, you, if you're new to YouTube, don't make, a, don't, make a, don't make a thumbnail. Don't make a video. Unless you're talking about baking a cake, dog grooming, fly fishing, uh, nothing political, nothing religious. Stay in your fucking lane. Or just be a fucking onlooker. And if you and, and, and really don't make up no fucking thumbnail or nothing where you can comment. Just look and say, yeah, I like that person. I like that. And if you do, keep your shit blank. Make up old fucked up name called Shout Spray. You ain't even got to show the Shout Spray bottle. Because, so you can comment and say, hey, I like that video. That was very, thank you. It was encouraging. Um, you, you, you know, I agree with you. Because there's, fuck an agent, they're only humans, but there's, man, this YouTube is swarming with agents like motherfucking maggots swarming on a dead dog or human's corpse in the summertime. There's so many fucking agents. The motherfuckers you think is stupid and crazy as a motherfucker, that's an act. They're agents. And some motherfuckers had to become agents to keep from going to prison. Because when motherfuckers step to them, we see that you got a lot of motherfucking pull here. Kind of like a Malcolm X shit. Get your hand out my pocket shit. Those with ears to hear would feel what I'm saying. So they got back. They got their back up against the wall. Look, we will do this for you if you do this for us because we see you got a great influence. Because right now, the, 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 the biggest power, that source, that big all-seeing eye. And it's something behind the big all-seeing eye, as I call it. The suits. The men in black. And want you to remember... You know, humans are some of the stupidest motherfuckers because when tsunamis hit, I've said it before on my other videos that I deleted them 350 plus I deleted, you know, last year. Why is it when that, that animals can feel the vibrations of things of destruction to come? Why did anacondas and, and motherfucking elephants start running to the hills, run to the hills, run to the hills, the highest place? Because when tsunamis hit, to show you that animals have spirits. They don't have souls, but they have spirits. They knew in their spirits. Something ain't right, and we're not feeling this shit. We can't talk, but something ain't right. Elephants trampling. And have you ever seen elephants before shit break out? They were more... Elephants got more compassion for each other than humans do. If an elephant leg broke or they're dying, they grieve. They'll lift their trunks up and make a noise out their mouth that's just earth-shattering. Because they have feeling for that other elephant. Humans don't. Because they saying, well, shit, did he leave anything to me? Well, let me go run in his house real quick and take this and take that. Yeah, I want to get that and shit. You know, I may not be in their wheel. They may not even have a wheel in I'm going to go get that. Let me go get this. Let me get the keys to this fucking car. And drive this shit illegally as long as I got this license and shit is straight. A lot of you motherfuckers don't understand me. I'm a crazy bitch. Remember this. I'm a crazy bitch. Always know. When you're sitting there. When it's all said and done, before they say, will you take this chip? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in God? 
Yes, I do. Off with your motherfucking heads. And they ain't going to say let you eat cake. Everybody not going to understand what you say. I was an old soul when I was put in my mother's womb. Oh, this bitch is crazy. She high. I don't give a fuck what you think. I know what 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 I know. Hey, get your hand out my motherfucking pocket, bitch. But I'm going to choose this song. They told me to check out Yellow Wolf. And I don't know if they didn't tell me which song, but guess what? But since it says Yellow oh, this is it. Oh, shit. See, that's how in tuned I am. They said Juicy J. Yellow Wolf, Y-E-L-A-W-O-F, uh, dash, punk, featuring, hmm, who is punk? Not Daft Punk, with uh, Weekend, Travis Barker, and Juicy J. Well, I everybody know Juicy J sold out. I mean, come on. Juicy J, Triple Six Mafia, Hypnotized Mind, Posse, posse that I'm guilty of buying my son, on his damn Christmas list, or or I'm about to go to the uh, music store. What you want, babe? I'm about to get what you like. Uh, mama, give me that. Um, I want that spinners. I'm riding on them spinners. When well, he didn't know no better, and this shit sitting up there getting in my son's mind. My daughter was that little meek and mild little mouse. She really didn't want that shit. But him being that guy, that boy, that man, the one with damn braids hanging down his fucking back, wearing motherfucking rock, wearing Sean John, all that bullshit, caught up in name brands that I would, I refuse to buy. I never bought him no three hundred fifty dollars shoes. I do now, as a gift, when ordinations came, or when this and that, or buying him Gucci guilty a hundred dollars a pop at Macy's or Nordstrom's. I do that shit. Not be to show off because, hey, I'm half of 100 plus four. My foot halfway in the grave and halfway out. But guess what? A baby, when they're born in the womb, their foot is halfway in and halfway out. You feel me? Only those with ears of, that, that have knowledge and wisdom can understand what I'm saying. Because I'm too deep for you motherfuckers. But let's see what this motherfucker song saying before it cut off. He told me to check out Yellow Wolf. That's my boy. He's my son that I never had out my womb. And it might be copyrighted because this might be so recent. When was it made? Fuck when it's made. They, if they copyrighted, fuck it. Yellow Wolf, check it out. Yellow Wolf Punk featuring Travis Barker and Juicy J. See, when I saw Juicy J come out with uh, Katy Perry on Dark Horse and everybody from the group had broke, even the guy with the fucked up crippled arm broke away, he was on some other shit survival shit because the money money is the root of all evil it's not it's the love of money money isn't the root of all evil we need money to to to, to take care of ourselves and pay our bills and everything but when you love money it is the rule of all evil because you can't go back to the lifestyle that you used to live i refuse uh, i can't go out like that i i gotta i got a a image to project i gotta look like i'm paid i gotta i can't go back to the Man, you take all this from me. I've never been on Section 8, but I might have to be on it. But Section 8 been get, is getting cut out slowly. I can't get on food stamps. I wasn't raised on it, but I might have to get on food stamps. So therefore, I trade to the beast system. So what they talking about on this record right here? Okay, I'm getting bored already. I want to hear Juicy J saying, fuck it. Where's Juicy J at? I got to see. Fuck what y'all saying. I'm not racist. I want to see when Juicy J walking in saying what he got to say. Oh, that's Juicy J? Hypnotized Mind Posse, Triple Six. Three Six Mafia, Hypnotized Mind Posse. Fuck that. Watch these motherfucking collabs. There go Juicy right there. Okay, that's all I need to hear. The whole world is yours. The same thing 
Lucifer said to Jesus when he went up into the mountains for 40 days, 40 nights without liquids, without food. And Satan.